up, what's up? Bill Kamak, BillCQC.com. Today we're going to talk about GarageBand guitar effects processing. To me, the most important thing is your amp simulation. We're going to go manual with that. They have different setups you can use. I'm going to click this. So I'm going to turn our output level down for now. I want to hear less of the attacks. So we're going to bring the gain all the way up. Now you hear we're getting that hiss back. So we're going to go get our gate. Now let's see, more bass, Alright, that's pretty good. And then I could EQ it if I want to. Alright, that sounds good. Using GarageBand effects is better than using the effects already built in because you can change your sound after the fact instead of having to re-record it if you don't like the way it sounded. So let's say I record something here. change this loop change the distance here So let's say I didn't like the way that sounded. If I would have recorded that already affected, there's nothing I can do about it. But I can actually take all this stuff off. totally different feel if I want to do a different mix of something or I just change my mind about how I want the whole song to go.
And the next thing you might do is move this over, select the loop, Let's try that one. Drag this up here so you see the plus sign. I'm going to grab this up here with the circle. If you grab it with the circle, it loops. If you grab it without the circle, it just stretches it. So we're going to use this. I'm going to loop it. Extend our loop. Check our volume. Now another way I could change this up is to duplicate this track. Copy this down here. I'm going to mute this track. So now we're listening to this track and this one. Now that I have the first track saved, I'm going to go over here and change these effects. So now instead of starting all over, having to restore settings, I can just switch between these two tracks if I want to hear the different styles. And I might want some reverb on all this, so I'm going back down to kits. Actually, I'm going to solo kits. Give it more of a feel like it's in a room. And then you can build the rest of your song from there with more guitar tracks, vocals, synthesizers. Whatever you want to do, you can make it, change your mind, and then make it again because all the effects you used are in software. And that's how you set up your guitar effects in GarageBand. Bill Kamak, BillCQC.com. I'm out. Peace.